art, beauty, face, makeup. Today the Try Guys are trying avant-garde makeup. Just flick it at my face. Okay. <laughs> you know what you look like! <laughs> <laughs> Avant-garde makeup. Today we're trying high fashion looks based on our good friend Cindy Chen Designs. I'm an avant-garde makeup artist, content creator, and beauty influencer coach. Avant-garde really means wearable art, and that's really how I would define it. I just see myself using makeup as a medium for art, and my face is the canvas. And joining us today, we got Kaylin Allen. Greetings. What do you know about avant-garde makeup? I know a lot about avant-garde. I feel like I'm avant-garde. <laughs> But uh, as far as makeup, not much. But luckily we have an expert at avant-garde makeup. She actually contacted us through her fans on TikTok. That's right, so if you want to get our attention, just send out an army of fans to keep commenting until we reply. It works, turns out. My inspiration comes from my graphic design background and fashion background. I really love looking at different art movements, posters, packaging, and I'm often inspired by interior design. So you guys can pick which looks you guys wanna Whoa. recreate. <laughs> <laughs> this one is inspired by Fabergé eggs. I think you can rock that one. You think I can make this? <laughs> You're crazy. And then this one is oh. kind of a confectionery, so like marshmallow inspired. That's cool. This one, which is, I did it after I got married, so it's a pastel romance, so it's softer. Normally I do more like intense colors like this. Space bubble gum? Yes, mm -hmm. 100%. That <laughs> so this is the shortest look, this is 30 minutes, and this is a six and a half hour one. Mm. You dedicated, honey. I don't do nothing for six and a half hours of sleep. Wow, it's truly beautiful. I love this rich color. I love how the lips and everything is sort of the same. So I'm gonna start with this and then see where we end up. This looks like a $5 million vase. It looks it like really it's does. in a museum. It does. I shall be the vase. Yay! That's cute! If you sold this as a print, I would hang this in my house. Yeah, sure. I'll, I guess I'll start making prints then. <laughs> I think okay. this is it's stunning. As long as Maggie doesn't mind, it's okay. Maybe I'll do myself like this. And oh, then exactly. I'll and then make a print of yourself. I think she would like prefer you to me hanging on her <laughs> wall. This is glamour. That's what I love about this. Yeah. And I think I could really do something with this. Cool. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Do you guys have jelly primer if you want to start there? Yeah. Jelly primer? Oh, I'm gonna go get some jelly primer. Jelly primer? Jelly primer? Jelly primer? Now you gotta go up when you put stuff in your gravity. You don't wanna bring your wrinkles in. No. Go up. Now lucky for me, black don't crack, but you gonna have to go up. Yeah, white's got the blight. <laughs> Light. What is jelly primer for? I don't know. Oh right, it's my scaffolding. And now I'm gonna build a house. We never remember anything. It's been seven years of this. Now I'm like, which one is supposed to be my color, huh? Y'all ain't got my shade. <laughs> I can mix it to get it to my color. I didn't bring contacts. Good luck. Now, my strategy here is to do as little real beauty makeup as possible and just cover myself with paint. Oh, see, that's my shade, baby. Yeah, that's my shade. we got it. I think this is my shade for sure. <laughs> I think I want something a little more blue purple than the teal, but I like the teal. I'm gonna YOLO in with this cream stick. This goes on thick. So far, I'm just applying it like sunscreen at the day of the beach. I'm just a suburban dad that really gets in there with the zinc oxide. Now, what I like about mine is that this gives more like glam. Like it feels like you wear this at like a wedding or something like that. Well, maybe not a wedding, but you know what I mean. Like it's getting very fairy. I don't know where you would wear yours at though. Yeah, use a brush. Use a brush? Okay. Oh, I shouldn't just keep sticking it on? This is my comfort zone. Like this? Tap, 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 tap. Tap, tap, tap. tap. Avant-garde is very different from like normal makeup you would see every single day. I actually took it from like avant-garde fashion. But if you look at the runway in fashion, you see these beautiful, really intricate looks, but I take it to the next step and I wanna go full face. So I do a little bit of face painting, which is why you got some face paint in front of you. I add cream paint because I really want that pigment. Ooh, they're a little icky on the side. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Ew, yuck. Yeah. I don't know why that happened. Ooh, maybe I'll be. the paper towel? Don't do that, that's gross. What? I'm gonna take a flat brush with grease paints. Flat brushes work really well for spreading it out and making very geometric kind of designs. Kim Kardashian didn't like invent contour, right? Because I didn't hear about it at all until she came onto the scene. No, they do a very dramatic contour. They created a certain look of makeup, I believe, but no. Makeup has been around long before the Kardashians. <laughs> 
hairline. Now this is gonna be tricky, because where does it start, where does it end? I never think of myself as having a receding hairline, but this really calls attention to it. Don't you think? <laughs> I'm trying to do a cool something over here. Hmm. Hmm, look at me. I'm all abstract and all good now. Powder, Ned, powder. Powder? No, not like, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh -oh. You're good. <laughs> you got stuff all over you. You guys remember Grimace? I liked Grimace. He seemed like he was a jovial guy. Was he bad? Cause like, Hamburglar was bad. But was Grimace bad? Was like- Hamburglar was bad? Yeah, he was trying to burgle the Hambles. Kaylin, I don't even remember when we met. Do you? Streamy Award. That's where we met? Yep, you were the first one to see my work. What are you doing working the carpet? We want you walking the carpet. I'm gonna do both. Okay, all right. You know I should have been in doing the interviews. <laughs> Not at all. I guess the whole thing's purple, just go for it. Do you get how far into your nose should you paint? Not at all. Not in my nose. Well, but well, I'm looking you should... at your photo, ma'am. <laughs> and it's in your nose. <laughs> It's in your nose, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very into this look. Very nice. This is just how I'm gonna start being in Dry Guys videos. Today we're trying whitewater rafting. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me it's not sickening. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. <laughs> it's, it's kind of better than it has any right to be. I'm impressed. All right now, let's give it some eyes. I think the photo is gonna look better if my shirt's off. Okay, are you cool hanging out with me shirtless this sure, whole video? Do what you gotta do, sugar. Okay, sugar. Okay. <laughs> Shit, no, we were at that main stage. <laughs> I don't know what to do next. Eyeshadows. Um, red eyeshadow. Gonna make me look like I have pink eye, though. <gasps> I'm infectious. Oh, <laughs> you got pink eye. <laughs> A relationship. Uh, <laughs> Some friends, like, you don't really remember it happening. You're just like, Kaylin was super funny on the internet, and we were, every time we saw him, we were just so excited. Well, you know, me, I think I've just always been a fan of you guys. No. Yeah. No. But the Try Guys are iconic. Are you kidding me? You guys are icons. I think I've just always been a fan of you guys. But the Try Guys are iconic. Are you kidding me? Uh, oh my god, I'm an icon? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I love this look. You know what I'm looking slowly like? A California raisin. Like this is California raisin purple. Oh, wow. Oh, he looks like Daddy Vision. I do look like Vision. Now what? Rest of your face, there's more colors. Like this, on either side of my nose. Wonderful. And then what? Over, around, I don't know. Anything you want. But like, okay, connected. help me make it look at least good. Connected from the eyeshadow to the nose. Oh. <laughs> you look like you came out of Moulin Rouge. Yeah. Spectacular, spectacular. <laughs> if you can't afford my friend, you can have me. <laughs> I met Oprah. You? Yeah, and it's funny because she knew me before. Like, she, she's the one that said my name. Kaylin, that was that for you. It was a moment. What the f Oh my gosh, I was on cloud nine. I loved it. Oprah said, hello, Kaylin. Yeah. I highly recommend meeting her. You hung out with Mariah Carey, right? Yes. How was that? Oh my gosh, a dream. Like there were times when we would shoot and then after we would watch the clip, well they would be like, Mariah, does that work for you? Well if it works for Kaylin, it works for me. Girl, you ain't gotta ask me, you Mariah Carey. <laughs> I'm here for you. One time, we were walking down the street and someone said, hey, you guys are the Try Guys. Yeah, what's up? I used to be Mariah Carey's assistant. Whenever we were on set, just trying to like keep her busy, we'd play her videos and then she would always go, no, the funny ones. <laughs> It was us. <laughs> yes! We were, we were the funny boys. Period! Didn't I tell you you was an icon? You told me. Is this avant-garde or just basic? Do I start doing the design now? Yeah. Right in the center. Oops, <laughs> I already made a squiggle. This is so hard. My hand is shaking so much that anytime I do detail work, it just messes up. I'm just trying to make a circle here. Do I hold my wrist? Yeah, also then I just stop breathing, it helps. Stop breathing, I've been telling him that <laughs> so long. You look like Black Swan. Oh, it is giving that! <laughs> it is, I see what you mean. When are we gonna get a Try Guys Broadway show? There's a list, it's in a secret Google Doc, of like, before we hang up our Try Hats, we are gonna do these videos. One of them is the Try Guys Try Macbeth. Maybe we'll do it drunk? I would love that. I don't think it would do well. 
I think it would do great. The algorithm is a, a fickle, a fickle mistress. What, where do we want to go from here, Keith? Where are we going? What are we trying to be? More gold. More gold! Let's outline the nostrils in gold, eh? This kind of just looks like I'm a purple guy who does gold coke now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't like what's happening, so we're just gonna blend the gold in. It's not my vision. It's not what I wanted it to be. <laughs> there we are. We like it better this way, don't we, everyone? We like the purple. This is kind of gold. That one's kind of goldish. No. Nope. Hmm. Okay. Well. Oh, I don't know. You can do whatever you want. It's your. No. <laughs> no, no help us. We need no. an intervention. Cindy, help. Cindy, help. I like the gold. I'm liking this. I'm digging the drawings. You just need more. Mm -hmm. All my style is all maximalist. So, like, I like more is more. My name is Maximalist Decimus Meridius. Father of a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife. And I, I will have, have my revenge, revenge in this life for the next. I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> but yeah, more, definitely more. I start blending in this area where I'm supposed to have it carry over to some reds and purples so that it kind of starts to make everything else come alive. I thought I'm going to like a premiere for something. I feel like I'm going to spy on my, my partner. <laughs> I don't trust her. She's hanging out with her friends. I'll see about that. Would you ever want to come cook? Hell yeah. Yeah? Oh, I cook everything. I really love Italian food, though. That really gets the boys coming back to the yard. Nothing says foreplay like a little gnocchi. This is not too bad. When I get all these colors on here, I'm gonna be eating the girls up. Oh, I would say this is bad. Do I just need to powder it? Is that what I'm doing wrong? Wait, but am I blending it when I powder it? I'm spreading it. That's not what I want to do. I just want to powder it. What? A ton of powder. It's really spreading. It's really easy to blend with creams, but the hard part about working with creams is the fact that it smudges so easily that if you don't powder properly, then you don't know how to layer it. Oh, because now there's, uh, let me see what's going on with you. Oh my God. Wow, look at you. <laughs> I like yours though. Cool, thanks. That red is all over the place. Yeah, it, it was a shape and now yeah. it's not. I'm stressed. Cindy, help. You can fix it by putting the same color you're using now on the edges, but when you're powdering, you wanna take your beauty blender and only tap it on your face with the powder once each time. Because if you do that, it doesn't transfer the colors because you probably just went like this. And that's probably why, because there you got cream on it the second time you touched it. Now I'm starting to look like Thanos. We all remember Thanos. Everyone remembers Thanos, don't we? I must collect all the stones, remember? Cindy! Oh, okay. Hmm, it's kind of fun. Basically, I just pick something to do at random and then try and do it on the other side. Uh, it does feel like when I try and look beautiful, that I can make mistakes. And here, if I make a mistake and someone says, that looks strange, I can just say, you don't understand. It is supposed to be strange. It's supposed to look like that. You don't understand my art. You don't get it. You're stupid. So I know I was supposed to just stick to the eyeshadow, but then I started doing the cream on top because the eyeshadow wasn't vibrant enough for me. I would say process-wise, I'm in the Sisyphus stage. I just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again and suffering for it. I'm adding some green. I want to make it a little more sack and then also have less of a one-to-one -one comparison. I really want to distance myself as much as possible at this point. Trying to play with angles and textures. Just, you know, trying to not accidentally draw a dick on my face. It could be an avant-garde dick, Ned. If the dick emerges, embrace it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. There is a lot going on on my face. This area I haven't touched yet because I'm going to go in with black, but around the eye area it's more sensitive, so I'm not gonna use grease paint. I'm gonna use eyeliners and lipsticks. Don't forget the eyeshadow. You look fabulous. Thanks. <laughs> you look like you got attacked by a bag of flour. <laughs> <laughs> I like yours. The green that you added, that's an interesting choice. It does give meteorology. Now you said like your hand gets cramped and you kind of just dance it out. Yeah. Okay, now back to work, kids. Whoa, look at that. Powdered gold. What brush should I use to make the little poops? You know, you gotta go ploop, ploop, ploop. She's got these golden ploops. And I'm trying to put the ploops on my little beautiful 
Cool. You can use like this and then dip it and then dab it and I'll give you a little Ooh. Oh, we got a little boner, yeah, a tiny boner. Oh, look at that gold. Tiny tea. golden boner on my face. There's a tiny golden boner on my face. There's a fun technique you could do. You could, first of all, have Kaylin just splatter paint on you. That would be fun. I love that. Ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you look like! That this video had a happy ending? Uh <laughs> <laughs> We got some half moons, some stars, and we need to loop them onto our face. And how do we do that? Well, we don't know, and our expert has stepped out of the room. So we're just gonna start trying. Is that what I want? Oh, came right up. I don't know how to glue it. Cindy has stepped out. We need to make our looks come to life and really wow her. I feel great. I think this looks amazing. Without the jewels, I was a little concerned. I mean, it's not as perfect as hers, but it's it's pretty close. You're kind of the Eugene in this video, so we, we need one person <laughs> to do well. Of course, we have to paint our neck, our ears, our shoulders. So hopefully this water is not too cold. And I'm gonna start with red and then go down to orange. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. Okay, we're going for it, guys. Time to wow the judges. <laughs> <laughs> Two roads in the forest. Take Kaylin's. So basically I am contouring my face just as she did in the Full in the photo. Oh with jewels. With, yes, exactly. Whoa. Yes. Let's do that. You also have mascara too. What is that? What's mascara? Mm -hmm. Ouch. Right. Okay. Do I do either or? Both. Both. I never remember. Anything. Mascara first. Which one's that? Uh, what do I, I just blink on it? Wait, can someone do the eyeliner for me? Under my eye or over my eye? It's been seven years of this. This is black lipstick? Yes. How do I do that? What? What if I don't know how to do brand new lipstick? Ten minutes. I'm ready for eyelashes. So how do you do this? Is this sticky, Kaylin? Mm-hmm. So why were you blowing it? Oh, because you're supposed to let the glue dry a little bit before you put them on. Mm -hmm. now, I ain't never had to put these on myself, so. I want to really confuse people, so I'm going to put these on upside down. It's kind of cool. What the world? You look good. Thanks. You look like a hot Ursula. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear, baby. People say that eyes are the window of the soul. But my mouth is more of a window inside of me, I would say. So I'm trying to sort of bring that idea into focus here. Get it? Focus. <laughs> I have a hard time not laughing. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my face. Oh up. my god. Ew. <laughs> this is the art. This is me. I am the art. We're gonna just brush it. This is also how you get like a galaxy effect. And if you want bigger splatters, you splatter further away. And if you want smaller splatters, you go up closer to the skin. One minute remains. Oh no, it fell off. Where's the lip gloss? Ooh. I'm finished. I too am complete. I feel like I would make love to you then slit your throat. You do look like a little killer, you know? Yeah. Hi guys, I'm back. <laughs> Hi Cindy. We're excited to reveal our final looks to you. I'm excited to see them. Do you feel like you're being haunted by the ghost of your former work? <laughs> yeah, Hello, a Cindy. Bit. Oh my gosh. I give you a princess. <gasps> oh my gosh, you look so pretty. Thank you. Wow, good job with the gems placement. And you also added different colors, so mm -hmm. you know from far away yes. it's gonna catch the light. Oh, this is awesome. This is definitely Met Gala worthy. Thank you. Period. I like it. I is Kaylin's your favorite so far? Well, I'm not supposed to say favoritism, but I really like it. Cindy, you wanted avant-garde? You're getting avant-garde. <gasps> <laughs> I didn't think I could get even more avant-garde than when I left. 
Actually, you look really cool. The colors actually do mix really well together. Yeah. I think once you kind of diverted from the I want precise things and then you just kind of went and had fun with it, it shows. I can't say that I achieved what I set out to achieve, but I just had fun and I feel like we both, we put ourselves into it. I loved it. I started trying to copy it exactly and then I just let my creativity take over. I call it Assassin's Kiss. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow, it's so detailed. I'm very impressed. You even added yellow jewels around. Uh -huh. That's nice. Thanks. Good job. Oh, I'm a tablecloth. I love it. I think your eyelashes might be stuck to your eyelids a little bit. Sure. <laughs> I would love to reveal to you my take on your look that argues that perhaps the mouth is the window to the soul. <gasps> oh, wow. <laughs> That's a little bit terrifying <laughs> in a great way. Ooh. I really love how you interpreted this look and made it your own. It's a very unique shape. And I would never in a hundred years thought of using eyelashes for the mouth. Different artists have different brush strokes. Well, I'm very proud of you guys. I think you did a great job. And I'm really happy you guys tried out my makeup. If you like this, you can see more on Cindy's YouTube channel. She's actually going to do some of her techniques on Zach and Alexandria, so you can see how a pro does it. And period. <laughs> That's the Periana. We're just different artists.